Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. Uh, my name is Nehemiah and I'm very very much happy to have you on board. This is lesson uh, 4 on pandas and uh, we are going to discuss pandas read uh, CSV files. But then uh, before we begin, uh, if it's your first time to get into this channel, please consider subscribing, like and share this video to your friends and uh, to the returning subscribers. I uh, thank you very much for your continuous support. You can as well like the video so that we may reach uh, very many viewers. Uh, so guys, uh, basically a simple way to store big data set is to use the CSV files or a uh, comma separated files. So guys, uh, basically uh, the CSV files contain plain text and that is uh, a well-known uh, format that can be read by everyone including pandas. So guys, uh, let me show you an example how to load the CSV files into the data frame. So first of all, uh, I have a uh, files here, the Excel files. Let me just uh, open for you so that you may confirm with me. Uh, here are the uh, this pandas folder. Then uh, let me just open it so that you can see that we have we have some files here. Uh, so guys, uh, let me just uh, show you uh, some data here. So guys, uh, basically this is the data that we want to open in the uh, in the pandas. So um, what I'm gonna do, guys, uh, let me. Uh, right here the codes to you know to read it first of all we are going to import pandas import uh, pandas the code library pandas s pd pd and then now uh let's create now our object df you can use any variable then uh, let me assign it to pd dot uh, read mm, dot read underscore uh, csv file and then now um we are going to do what we are going to find the, the path so guys okay, so basically this day a file that we want to open it so the name is data but then uh, let me copy the path here copy the path click on this a uh, uh, copy path mm, I should first of all select it and then I click on the sorry and then I uh, select it then I click on the copy path and then I return to your uh, uh, notebook uh, basically guys i'm using jupyter but uh, you can as well you can as well use um a vs code you can you can use a uh, pycharm in the whichever text editor you have then i uh, just paste it there and then i uh, did the uh, file path but then uh guys uh, we are going to use the double uh you know forward slashes so that uh, it may work well properly when you use just the single forward slash it will not work so ensure that you have a pair of forward slash wherever it is uh, here also a pair of forward slash also here a pair of, of forward slash and then now uh, to print it out we are going to say print uh, print and then now guys uh, basically we are going to use here uh, the two underscore spring uh, a string a method to print the, uh, the entire data frame so first of all we are going to say uh, df dot and then at uh, this method here two uh, sorry two underscore two underscore string two underscore string underscore string method and then now guys uh, to run it we are going to use the run button uh, and so guys uh, basically you can see that it has opened these uh, files uh, in this uh, you know notebook here basically we have the names here but then uh, let me try to delete a, a column so that we may have you know a very very a nice uh, nice what nice uh, you know uh, nice um, you know data so let me clear first of all here let me delete this file then uh, let me do it let me save uh, sorry let me save it and then now uh, what I do let me uh, refresh here let me just run the codes again um, let me run the codes and then again uh, basically now we have you know just two columns so guys uh, basically this is how you can do it this is how you can open the or uh, you can print the entire data frame but then uh, if you have a large data frame with the many rows uh, then uh, basically pandas will only return the first uh, five rows and uh, the last uh, five rows if you do not use this uh, you know method here so like um let me do it let me just uh, clear this uh, method here so that we may just print out this uh, you know data frame here the variable here the object so guys uh, basically you'll find out that it will it will only print uh, basically the first five rows and uh, the last uh, five rows let me run and then uh, guys, uh, basically you can see that it has done what it has just printed the first 
uh, five rows and then at uh, the last uh, five uh, rows uh, in so guys uh, basically the number of rows returned is defined in the uh, pandas option setting and uh, basically you can check your system maximum rows uh, with the pd dot option dot display dot max underscore rows uh, statement so uh, guys uh, let me show you how to do that how to check uh, basically the maximum rows number of rows to be returned here so what i do um let me just uh, clear this and then i uh, hear the print function let me say what let me say pd dot options 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 dot display dot display dot max underscore uh, rows rows then uh, let me run the codes uh, so guys uh, basically you can see that in my system uh, the number the number of uh, of uh, you know a uh, returned rows is 60 which means that uh, if the data frame contains more than 60 rows uh, these are print uh, print uh, this data frame actually the print data frame statement will return only the headers in the, the first in the, the last five rows so guys uh, basically you can change the maximum rows uh, number with the same statement like um uh, basically guys um what i do here let me just show you how to change you know the how to increase the maximum number of rows to be displaying the entire data frame so what i do first of all you are going to say pd dot um or let me just copy these codes because guys i hate typing i hate typing a lot let me just uh let me just paste it here and then what i do um let me assign it to let me give it something like uh, even 1000 or uh, let me just use 999 whatever and then now uh, here let me say uh, df now let me create the data frame F df and then now um, underscore then a pd a pd dot read dot read and then underscore underscore csv csv and then now um and then now uh, we are going to do what we are going to print out a uh, data uh it is what let me just copy this uh the file path let me copy the file path and then now uh, what i do uh, here let me just paste it there sorry let me paste it there and then i do it let me just use the a pair of, of forward slashes also here a pair of forward slash here also a pair of forward slash then uh, here also a pair of, of forward slash but then uh, my files are few on the terminal then uh, again uh, here the print function you must always remember to pass what your object here which is a df then again uh, uh, basically um my files are not that much but then uh, if, if you have uh, you know more files then uh, this is how you can do it this is how you can increase the maximum number of rows to be displaying the entire uh, data frames so guys uh, basically this is what i wanted to show you in this video and i think you've gained something if so guys uh, please consider subscribing like and share this video to your friends until next time this is nehemiah uh, goodbye